Welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to draw the above tangency problem. To draw the above tangency problem, first you have to draw a horizontal line. After drawing a horizontal line, next you have to draw a vertical line. The vertical line should be a center line. After drawing the vertical line, you are to draw lines inclined to the vertical at 30 degrees. You can do so using your set squares. You are to place your set squares this way. You are to support them with your T-square. Then you have to draw the lines. So as you can see, this line is inclined to this vertical line at 30 degrees and also this line too is inclined to this vertical line at 30 degrees. Next, you will draw another line. This line should be inclined to the vertical line at 15 degrees and the line should be this way. You can easily do so using your protractor. You have to mark 15 degrees from this vertical line. So you have to draw a line passing through the point you mark from this point. From the question above, you will observe that there is a horizontal line 12 mm above this point. So I will mark 12 mm from that point. So I will draw the horizontal line. Also, there is another horizontal line that is 25 mm from this line. So I will mark a point 25 mm from the line I just drew. After that, you will, you will observe that there is an arc here, and the radius of the arc is 95 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 95 mm. Then I will place my compass on this point. Then I will produce the arc. There is another arc here of radius 128 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 128 mm. Then I will produce the arc. There is a line passing through this point. There is a horizontal line passing through this point, so I will draw the horizontal line. So now it is time to produce cycles. From the question, you observe that there are cycles here, and the radius of this cycle is. No, the diameter from the question, they give us the diameter as 22 millimeter. So that means the radius is 11 millimeter. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 11 millimeter. That is in order for me to produce the cycle.
also there are cycles of diameter 50 millimeter that means radius of 25 millimeter so as usual i will adjust my compass to a radius of 25 millimeter in order for me to produce the cycle You observe that the cycle is not complete once the circumference of the cycle touches this line. That is all. There are cycles here of diameter 12 millimeter. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 6 millimeter. After that, I will produce the bigger cycle. And from the question, the, rate, the diameter of the bigger cycle is 25 millimeter. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 12.5 millimeter. There's a cycle here of diameter 16 millimeter, that is 8 millimeter radius. And also, there's another cycle here of diameter 32 millimeter, that is 16 millimeter radius. From the question, you observe that there are arcs here of radius 32 millimeter here, here, here. So in order to produce the and since the internal arc, no, the external arc, since the external arc, we add we, we add the radius of the cycle plus the radius of the arc, and the radius of the arc from the question is 32 millimeter, and the radius of this cycle here is 25 millimeter. So I will add 32 plus 25, which will give me 57 millimeter. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 57 millimeter. Then I will cut axe this way. So now, in order to complete, to co produce the arc, you will observe that the radius of this cycle here is 12.5 millimeter. And remember, our arc is an external arc. So we'll add 12.5 and 32, which will give us 44.5. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 44.5 millimeter. Then I will cut arc to intersect the previous axe I cut. Now I will place my compass on this point. Then this point. Then on this point. Now I will produce the tangential arc, 
Remember, the radius of the tangential arc is 32 millimeters. So I'll produce the arc. So now you observe that there is an arc here of radius 35 millimeter. So in order to produce the arc, I will start with this cycle here. So remember the arc is an external arc. So I will add the radius of this cycle and the radius of the arc I'm about to produce. Now the radius of this light cycle here is 25 millimeter. So I'm adding 25 millimeter plus 35 millimeter, which will give me 60 millimeter. So I'm adjusting my compass to a radius of 60 millimeter. Then I will place my compass here. Then I will cut up. So at this side now, the radius of the cycle here is. 12.5 millimeter. So I'll add 12.5 and 35. So that will give me 47.5 millimeter. So I'll adjust my compass to a radius of 47.5 millimeter. Cut arc to intersect the previous arc. And so I will adjust my compass to a radius of 35 millimeter to, to produce the arc. For the arc here, if I add 25 plus 12.5, it will give me 37.5. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 37.5 millimeter. Remember the radius of this cycle is also 12.5. So after that, I will adjust my compass to 25 millimeter because 25 millimeter is the radius of the arc I'm about to produce. So there's another arc here of radius 22 millimeter. So I will start with this cycle. So since it's an in external arc, so I will adjust my compass to a radius equal to the sum of the arc and the radius of this cycle here. So which is 22 plus 12.5, which will give me 34.5. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 34.5 millimeter. And so for this side, I will add 22 plus 16, which will give me 38 millimeter. So I will place my compass now on this point. Then I will adjust the compass to the top of this cycle here. Then I will produce an arc. The radius of this arc 
I just produced is 107.5 millimeter. So now, and there's an arc here of radius 32 millimeter. And the arc is external arc. In order to produce the arc, I will add 32 and 107.5 millimeter, which will give me 139.5 millimeter. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 139.5 millimeter. Then I will cut arc. So now to produce the arc here for this cycle here, I will add 32 plus 16 because the radius of this cycle here is 16 millimeter. So if I add 32 plus 16, it will give me 48 millimeter. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 48 millimeter. So now to produce the tangential arc here, I will adjust my compass to the radius of the tangential arc, which is 32 millimeter. So the arc has been produced. Now it is time to make bold the parts that are supposed to be bold. The above tangency problem has been drawn successfully. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you are having challenge with any of your engineering drawing or technical drawing assignments, you can send the question to the WhatsApp number displayed. I will solve the questions and send a video of the solution to you. It's completely free, it will not cost you a dime.